the batch processing during the night okay during the night why the traffic will be very less the traffic will be very nominal and the servers have resources to work on that is the reason okay that's the reason they they do um, process the the millions of customers in the night okay so i want to explain this one in two ways okay first is the importance of unix what is unix and why unix in, is used and why we have to learn unix okay all right as i told unix is an operating system it's a multitasking multi user operating system see whenever whenever you are working on and windows right on a laptop you can work alone right only one person can work on 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 your laptop on windows right either windows xp or windows 7 whatever it is it's a, only one person can work on that one. not multi right suppose somebody has to work you have to give the laptop to somebody then only they can work okay whereas unix is not like that unix is unix is multi user multi tasking system what does that mean there will be one server there will be terminal okay there will be terminal the example is if you go to any you know railway reservation or if you go to when you are flying to your country or when you are flying to some other place when you go to airport right it's also the uh, mostly they use unix system okay so there will be one central processor what are the requests you are sending from the terminal okay the cpu will process it how it will process first come first okay whoever sends the first request that will be processed the request will be in queue and suppose uh, if you take university if they have unix system and one person may be solving one issue in c and another student from another you know place may be working on java a different application somebody from mathematics may be working on different application okay what i'm what i'm telling is there are different users working on different application in one system that is unix system therefore it is called multi user multi tasking system okay but only the fundamental principle is the request what are the request first is given that will be taken care all other request will be in queue okay naga naga yeah. this is shabina tell me shabina sorry naga due to internet problem i just got connected a little late but i just want to understand did i miss something very important what is this black screen that i can see today okay see uh, it's called unix today we are learning unix oh so this okay. is unix okay unix today we are learning so what i'm what i'm discussing is why unix is necessary you know all the introduction i'm talking okay you're not missing anything i'll repeat once again okay okay thank you naga yeah yeah sure i'll repeat amna okay so unix is you know but the main problem with unix is it's you know it's not like a, a friendly uh, system that's the only problem right windows is there it's fine but uh, if you if you take you know uh, the latest uh, gadgets right so iphone or you know any other micro, uh, you know motorola devices they are they are all user friendly but unix is not like that unix they have a specific command okay suppose in the mobile device if you click on the icon it will in the application will pop up and you can do 
you can navigate and you can go around that. But but Unix is not like that. You have to know the commands up front. Okay. Uh, but the the good thing is Unix is you know it is structured uh, operating system and uh, that is used for doing you know um, huge jobs. Any company which is going to process the bill, they will use mostly Unix system. What are the bills? Everything, right? Your, uh, you know, insurance, health insurance bills, your vehicle insurance, your, uh, you know, uh, telephone bills, uh, your internet bills, uh, water bills, everything, right? All these, you know, most of these companies will use um, Unix only. Okay, so this is very uh, uh, widely used in many companies. So therefore, there are so many flavors are there. HP has HP Unix. Okay, it is called uh, HP Unix. Solaris has Solaris Unix, and uh, IBM has IBM AIX. Okay, and Linux is one of the most widely used operating system at this point of time. Okay, they are called flavors. Okay, they are called flavors. So basically, Unix was invented in New Jersey, AT&T Labs. Okay, Unix was invented in AT&T Labs in uh, uh, New Jersey. Okay, so that Unix has been adopted by different companies. So they they came up with their own you know uh, flavor. Okay, HP has HP Unix, IBM has IBM Unix that is called AX. Sun Solar is called uh, you know Solaris or uh, Solaris Unix that has been bought by um, Oracle right now. And then Linux is the latest one, which is uh, um, you know the companies will use. Linux, they don't need to pay anything to those companies. Okay, free version. Okay, so in Linux also there are so many uh, flavors are there: Red Hat, SuSE, etc. Okay, so today we are learning Ubuntu Linux. All right, but what is the main advantage of Unix? Okay, what we said. For running big jobs, example running the bills. Okay, when they will do that during the off peak time, during the, the less traffic time to the server. That is generally in the night, 11 to morning, 6 o'clock. Okay, so how they will do? We will try to understand how they will uh, in the how they will achieve this processing of jobs we will understand. Naga, any reason why the background screen is supposed to be black in Unix? Uh, you can, uh, you can, you know, um, you can do the settings. In the settings, you can make it, you know, different colors. That's up to you. Oh. oh, okay. So there's nothing like that. That in Unix, the screen is supposed to be uh, black or something. Oh. No, not like that. You can always, you know, do the settings. Okay. okay. Yeah. No problem. Welcome. Yeah. So, eleven o'clock, they will start the scheduler. Okay. Please note down. They will start the scheduler. Okay. This just like you know uh, your uh, alarm. Okay, alarm. By eleven o'clock, they will start the scheduler. Job will start. The programmer has written the programs to process the bill. What it will do? First it will go to the database and pull all the customers whose bills have to be processed say today. Okay. As I told you, the table is called view. What is a view in database? Can anybody tell me? What is a view in database? Let's go and check Google right away, all of you, please. And the moment question is asked, you have to go to Google. View in database. 
I am expecting an answer from you guys. The reason I already told in the last class about view. I discussed about uh, this also. Okay. Anybody can try? Okay, no problem. Please try to uh, make this point. See, we know very well that the application, any application consists of, yes, stored query. That is correct, Veta. Okay, I will, I, will, I will explain you in a still better way so that you can really uh, apply this concept to understand the, the exact meaning of the view. See what happens, every application will consist of database, database will consist of number of tables. As this is RDBMS, right? relation database management, every table is related to another table. For example, okay. let me give one small example to you, okay? Let me give one small example. Suppose there is a function, say after, suppose in the month of May. So what you will do, you have a big function in the month of May, you will be planning from now onwards, right? You cannot plan and do it within one or two days, it's not possible. Same way, view is, you know, what they do, to process electricity billing for any customer, we know that there are minimum three, three models are there. First is meter read, we will calculate the meter reading for any customer. With the meter reading, we will calculate the invoice. From the invoice, we will calculate the billing, okay. So, meter reads means initial final reading for the month minus initial reading of the month that comes the meter reads for the month of say February for the particular customer. Billing rate is one dollar if the meter reads are three hundred units, hundred into one hundred dollars. Suppose if the customer has to pay twenty dollars before you know for the month of January, hundred plus twenty, one twenty that is the bill for the customer. Suppose there are 1 million customers to be processed, okay. You started the processing by 11 o'clock. So the program to get the final value, if it has to approach three databases, three tables, that is meter reading table, invoice table, and then billing table, it takes a lot of time. So the, what they do? they will pull the information from three tables and they will keep in one table that is called view. So the moment you start the process of the billing, what the program will do? The program will go and take the employee or the you know customer number and the data from the view and it will process. So the moment it starts 11 o'clock by 6 o'clock, what it will do? It will process all the results a million million customers and whomever wanted to have the bills printed and posted their bills will be printed and they will be kept in the cover by the system automatically. For those customers who do not want to get the bills by post, they will send email. So that is advantage of you. Anybody has any questions now? If you understand the concept right, you know the complete, you know, um, any company will do the same way, okay. Any company in the world will do the same procedure. If you know this procedure, you are good. You can answer any question regarding billing. If they ask you how the billing has been processed in Unix, if you answer this, you are good to go. Okay, so I will, um, I'm, I'm assuming that everybody has understood this concept. Okay, I will give final uh, touch on this one, then I will uh, jump on to Unix, okay. So Unix is a operating system, it is 
multi user multi tasking system so there will be terminal and there will be one cpu how the process happens first come first out okay whomever send the first request that will be processed as i told you say there are different applications and different compilers different databases in the you know unix system what are the requests you sent the cpu will process your request and send the information to you therefore multi user multi tasking different users are there and they are using different tasks but here is a funda whomever send the request first that will be processed first and that will be the answer will be sent back first then the next request then the next next request that's how it will process this is mainly used for processing you know billings in the industry generally they process in the during off peak hours or during where there is less traffic okay how it happens they will write the program a unix jobs will initiate the scheduler the moment the scheduler starts it will take the help of the view from the database the customers suppose a company has to process 1 million customers it will pull all the data for those million customers and keep in the view the program will take the customer and his data from the view and it will process the bill so by morning 6 o'clock all the customers are processed and the system will send the report okay out of 1 million customers i processed you know um, x number of customers say 1000 customers that are being processed okay for those customers they will verify later on the the operations team will verify that why bill bills were not processed for other customers okay that how they they will verify the any defects in the you know processing also as i told you there are different flavors in unix as i told you this has been invented in uh, at&t that is in new jersey so hp unix ibm unix is called aix solaris unix is from solaris company but the company has been bought by oracle and there is linux linux is open open source and there are different uh, you know flavors in linux most popular most popular is red hat and then suse and today we are going to talk about ubuntu if you see at the top we welcome to ubuntu and the version is 12.04.3 that's what we are using okay and one more point what you have to understand is the importance of unix logs unix means log that's all okay let me talk about this one if you go here let me go to bank of america okay i will log into the system whatever the activities i am doing the system will write down that is called logging okay that is called it's, it's like writing a diary there are some folks they will write the diary right okay this day i have done this i went to this i have done this so and so forth okay in the same way what are the action you do on the application once you log into the system they will track everything okay see if 
if you sign in means you are doing an action, right? Sign in is an action. Okay. You you signed in. That means you are done an action. And then suppose you transferred the hundred dollars from your checking to savings. Whatever you do at the in on the application application is web application, whatever it is, everything will be tracked in Unix. Okay, they flow, they just flow like logs. They flow like logs. Okay, yeah. So let us uh, start with the uh, simple commands, and then we'll see. So, Unix means Unix logs. Any action, what are the processes happening in the application? Everything is logged in Unix. Okay, as I told you, right? First of all, on any system, they will install the operating system that is Unix. On top of it, they will install database. On top of it, they will install the web server, web logic or web server. On top of it, they will have the compiler, Java, etc. So the programmer will write the, you know, the coding as per the functionality. Okay. When the application is working, what are the action you perform? Okay. Suppose electricity billing system. Your bill is say three hundred dollars. You paid one fifty dollars. Okay. So, if you go to the datadedition.com, if you pay 150 out of $300 bill, not only the database will update, even Unix also, it will write, it will, how it will write Naga Somna on 330, 10.27 a.m. He logged in as, um, you know, with user ID password and he transferred, you know, $150 for his uh, from his checking account to uh, pay the telephone, uh, you know, electricity bill. Everything will be written. Unix will be used, okay? And since we are using uh, Amna, we, we should know how it works, okay? Right. So this is the introduction of the Unix, okay? So to track the logs, Unix is a must. Let me give an example. One customer in Bank of America was trying to transfer the $500 from his checking account to another bank, okay, in another country. What happened? He clicked transfer, but after that nothing system came down. Then what you will do? Can anybody help me out? Then what you are going to do? See, you are trying to transfer $500, okay? Somehow, transfer happened, but after that you did not get any, you know, response. So how, how you are going to resolve the issue? Anybody tell me? You have to take it up with the bank. Yeah. Okay. What information is going to give to the bank? Uh, he will give his uh, account number. Yes. And okay. uh, the routing number that he used for sending the money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, bank address. Okay. And the amount. All right, that's a good one. So, what happens? You got the problem. You got the bank. Then you know what what they will do. They will go to the Unix and verify the loss. Okay, they'll go to the Unix and verify the loss, and also they'll verify the database. Okay. The main important point in Unix logs is that suppose it has failed, where it has failed, okay, that will be 
uh, written in the Unix. There is one more concept we have to understand that is called error handling system. Okay? Error handling. So generally error handling is being taken care of by the developer, but we should have the the concept. We should have the concept. Suppose the programmer is writing a program okay, to calculate the billing for electricity customer. Okay. Suppose you are you have the option to pay by credit card. Okay. If you won't give the credit card number correctly, anybody can remember what the error you got when you are paying a bill by credit card. Anybody can remember? See, you are, you are paying a bill through your credit card. Suppose you are not giving the number correctly. Can you tell me what the message you got? Suppose you have to give social security number when you are processing a an application. You are not given correct SN number. What is the message you got? Oh, invalid number. Yeah, yeah. number is not available. Invalid number, right? Invalid number, correct. Same thing. So, how the system is showing that one? It was written by the developer. Developer will write. Okay. What he will do? Okay. System is asking the SN number. He will write in the program how the moment you enter the SN number, how many digits? SN how many digits? Nine, right? Nine. Nine digits. Nine digits. First, you know, he will keep a validation. It should be nine digits should be there. Otherwise, it will error it will give. It's not a correct SN number. SN number should consist of nine digits. Then only it's a valid SN number. Otherwise, it's not a valid SN. It's not a valid SN number. If it is not nine numbers, you will get an error. Why you are getting that error? Since in the error handling, the programmer has written saying that SN number should consist of nine digits. If it is not nine digits, it's not a valid SN number. Okay. The moment you enter the SN number, suppose instead of nine you entered eight, the system will validate first whether it is nine or less than nine. If it is less than nine, pop up this error. So he will write in the program. Okay. So if you go to the logs, right, you will see this one, where it failed, okay, at this point it failed, it will show that, okay, suppose you are, you are going here, see, one more thing I am telling you, for some people may be a little bit confusion, please listen, okay, uh, you will definitely, will understand slowly and steadily, okay, and one more thing. When you are doing web testing, there are three types of errors are there. Okay? Three types of errors are there. Example, you are buying Amazon.com. Yeah, you are using Amazon. Okay? And one more concept. You are buying from your AT&T phone. Let us say. That means your AT&T customer, AT&T is giving some discount since you are AT&T customer. So you are buying from AT&T mobile from Amazon. Let us say. Okay. Number one, the error may be in the front end. Number two, the error may be in the back end. Number three, the error may be in the interface. What is interface? 
you send as AT&T customer, okay, on AT&T phone. AT&T is giving some discount. But from AT&T, the request is not going to Amazon. Somewhere it is failing. Okay. So, there may be three types of errors. One is front end, number two back end, number three interface. Okay. So, I am just giving introduction so that we can, we will discuss in detail down the line. Okay. So, as I told you, Unix is used to pull the logs. As I told you. Naga, are you so sharing any other screen than this black one? Yeah, you can see now. Yeah. So, we are talking about error handling system. Error handling has been written by the developer. By the way, the developer BA or a group will discuss, you know, uh, about error handling systems also. Uh, the developer may discuss with his lead. Okay. See, they will try to put as many error handling systems as possible so that later on they can resolve the issues easily. Okay. See, example what we said, right? Suppose discover card it should have 16 digits. American Express less than 16 digits, right? American Express will not have 16 digits like that. Okay. So, everywhere you know they try to write as many error handling systems as possible so that you can catch where the problem is so that the developer can fix it very easily. Okay. So, this is the introduction about Unix. Now, we will see how to use Unix. Okay. So, to learn Unix we should we should know some fundamentals. As I told you, Unix is not a friendly like Windows. Okay? We should learn command. Here the command will do certain job. Okay? There are two basic concepts in Unix. One is a file and there is a directory. The two main concepts in Unix is file and directory. So anything in Unix is process like a file, but mainly you will see two differences. I will be talking more like which directory, which file that is all. Okay. Let us see now. Let me come out of this one. Okay. Exit. I came out of this one. So, Srikant has helped me out here. So, see, this is a front end tool called PuTTY. Okay, PuTTY is a tool which is used to access the Unix. Okay, so you can access Unix in different ways. One is through PuTTY. One is through party. Let us do this. See the moment you, you know, click on party, you will see this party configuration. Okay. So click on this uh, training server, right? Yes, Naga. Yeah, uh, Unix training, right? Yes. Okay. Click load and then change the IP address to 4. Okay. So, Unix QA training. See, I am clicking on load. 1.4 second, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. See, what I have done. I clicked on putty and the server, by the way, the 
host name and port values will be given by the client. The port name, the host name that is IP address and port 22 will be given by the Unix admin to you. We discussed in the previous class that whenever you have any problem in accessing Unix, you have to contact the Unix admin. Load. Okay. Open. I know, I think 4, it has not taken correctly. I will repeat once again. Unix. Load. I will take 4. Okay. And open. Okay. Login. See, it will, it will say login. See the Naga, right? Yes. What is the password? Welcome. Welcome. So all of you will have this one, okay? You please practice. All right. So now you, you have seen how to log into Unix. You have to do the same thing at the client place. Okay? You have to do the same thing at the client place. All right. So we are in Unix now. First of all, as I told you, a directory or file, we'll see. I'll say PWD that is called present working directory. Okay. Where I am, I'm at home slash Naga. Okay. If I want to see what are the files and directories that are available, I will say ls. Okay. ls means list. ls means list. Okay. If I say ls minus jl, I am getting more details. Right. When I said ls, you know, just is giving me some in white, some in blue color. Okay. Now I want to understand what is in blue color, what is in white color. Okay. Let me see documents. They are in blue color. D means directory. That's a default. Okay. Whenever you will see D at the beginning, that is directory. Okay, see, if there is a dash at the beginning, it is a file. File is in white color here and directory is in blue color here. Okay, see, there are many system files here, okay. There are all many system files. System file means system will be associated with uh, files and directories. They are all predefined by the system. But now we create some directories and we create some files for the sake of, you know, keeping our logs. Just like, you know, um, suppose there is a Almera at our home. We will keep things, right? I will keep my books at one, one space of the Almera. You know, my kids will keep second place like that, you know. Similarly, different applications logs are captured at different locations or different directories. Okay, we'll see. We will try to understand. What we understood is how to log into the Ubuntu. We are using Putty to access the Unix system. As I told you. Whenever you have any problem in accessing Unix, you are going to contact the Unix admin. Generally, there will be a group email will be there. You have to send the screenshot. Okay. See, always remember, whenever at the client place, if you are sending any defect, any complaint, you have to send the complaint in the form of a screenshot. Okay. Naga, this is Fatma. Uh, Naga, I just missed on how to log in into Unix because of my internet. Uh, I'll show. Able to... I will. I will show. Yes. Okay. Thank you, no sir. Problem. Okay. No problem. 
So I will, I, I want to get out of here. So I will say it. Uh, Naga, one more thing. Uh, here we are seeing that uh, blue color is directory, right? Yeah, blue color is directory. Yeah. Yeah, well after that you are getting files. Is is the is those files are related to that directory? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, um, I have to check. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not sure about it. These are all system, right? System, you know. Uh, but I can tell one thing. D means directory for sure. And uh, yeah. At the beginning, you know, if it is not D means it's a file, but. Whether this belongs to this one, you know, I I am not sure about it. Okay. 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 Fine. No problem. Uh, we'll we'll try to create our own directories and our own files. We'll do manipulation. Okay. We'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So yeah. Exit. Exactly. Naga, I just yeah, found out. We said ls is list, and uh, then you said yes. ls minus al. What does al stand for? Uh, details. We are giving all the details. We are asking the system to give all the details. Regarding directories and files. So for details and abbreviation is AL, is it? Yes, for details. Okay. okay. Thank you. Welcome, no problem. So I'm clicking on Putty. Then Unix training server. Okay, I got a problem. You know how to how to do this problem? I'll come here. The snipping tool is inbuilt with your Microsoft. Okay, click on this one. This is the simplest one for you to move forward. Come here, rectangular strip. See, take this guy. Save this one. Save as. You know, capture and desktop. Capture Unix. Unix error. Okay. So what you are going to go to your email and you know this that's all. Okay. Compose. Uh, you know so Unix group. Okay. Just more some some email address. Unix. I'll send the streak on. Okay. Is our Unix guru. So error. Unix error. Unix login. Login error. Okay, you will write. Hello, uh, Bob. You know when I'm trying to access the Unix uh, server, I got the following defect. Could you please look into this as soon as possible? Attach the screenshot. Attach it. Okay. You know, right? Where is our uh, screenshot? Should be there. Capture Unix error. Okay. That's all. Then this one, you're done. See. So this is the way you have to, you know, work at the client place. So you cannot say, "Hey, I got a defect." No, that won't work. The reason they should know what is the exact defect. For that, you have to use, you know, uh, screenshot. For every transaction, you have to do screenshot. Okay. So you can. You should not forget that. One. That way they know. Okay, what is the exact error received by uh, the individual? Based on that, they will resolve it. Okay. Putty, as I said, Unix load. So you can't ask me to change it for the reason the IP address is 1.4. I'm accessing his server. Okay, open. Login. You you will be given the values. Okay, and the password is welcome. That's all. I'm logging. Okay. So first of all, wherever you are, you should know your location. Okay. PWD. That is present working directory. Okay. Slash home slash Naga. So home Naga, home. when we all log in, we uh, this has been downloaded on our uh, laptop. When we log in, we are supposed to put on login as Shabina, and then it will give us the access. Or we yes. have to say log login Naga only. No, no. They Whatever the admin gives, you have to use that word. Okay, okay. But the one thing you know, generally they will give by your name. Or you know, it depends on the company. Okay, company depends on the company. Company will they will have their own policies.
Unix is a system. It's it's not uh, you know Unix is uh, Ubuntu is Ubuntu Unix. Okay. Windows is different. Unix is different. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Naga, this is Prima here. Ah, Prima, tell me, Prima. Hello, Naga. Yeah, uh, here you uh, here you lo uh, log in as a Naga. So in our system, uh, how you will log in? You will log in as Primal. If Srikant uh -huh. gives you as a Primal, uh, Primal Srikant, can you answer the question? I think uh, I have given admin as a login. Yeah. Admin. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Shri. Yeah. You will yeah. use an yeah. admin as well as and your your generally everybody password is common. Okay. Welcome. The okay. reason it will be easy for you to remember, right? Yeah. But at the client place, it will be different. Okay. At the client place, for SIT, one user ID password. For EAT, Unix, box one, one set of user ID password. EAT server two may be different. Similarly, production there are different boxes. Okay. In SIT also box six may be different. Okay. They will give all the values, you have to keep them safely and you have to use them correctly. Okay, right. So, here I want to see, as I told you, right, Unix, the main concept is a directory and files. LS. You will see the list of directory and files. We know that the blue color is directory white color is file ls minus l we want more detail see d means is a directory if there is no d means is a file so now as i told you we are working on four applications one is medical records one is electricity billing third is insurance and fourth is banking system okay suppose a company in which you are working, it has say 10 applications. They will keep 10 different locations to keep the logs of 10 applications. And, and one more thing, let us take AT&T. AT&T has different wings, right? Like, uh, you know, home lines, business lines, small business lines, cell phones, cell phones also. There are so many varieties, cell phones also, you know, um, Motorola, Samsung, HTC, there are so many companies, Apple, like that. So, there are millions of customers, right? They will keep the logs in different locations. To access the different logs, you have to go to different locations. Who will give you the locations? Are the directories? The company will tell you. Okay, Naga, you are working on you know SMS project. For SMS project, you have to go to this location. He will tell you before. In the business document, it will be written. Okay, All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do here? <coughs> First, I'll go to DTE. I'll go to DTE. CD, DTE. CD means change directory. CD means change directory. Okay. So now I want to see what are the directories and files available here. I will say ls minus l. Okay. There are two, there are <coughs> system files are there, that's all, dot, dot, dot means one system file, okay. How to go back to the root, see, if I say PWD, where I am here, home naga DTA, I want to go back to my home, CD, dot, dot. Okay. See, changing directory 
make directory the two are the basic concept as I told you right different application will store the logs in different locations to move in between directories you should know how to navigate between the directories okay now I want to go and see what is there with MRS medical records project so go to medical records project I will say CD space MRS okay if I say PWD what I am going to get I will get slash home slash naga slash MRS see that one see MRS now I want to see what are the files and directories available in MRS I will say LS OPT what is this one OPT blue color means what Directory? Yes, directory. 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 Yes. Directory. Now I want to go to directory. How to go? CD OPT. Yes. CD. Yes. Change directory. Yeah. CD space OPT. Okay. CD space OPT. See. Also see at the beginning, it is showing you MRS slash OPT. If you say PWD, you can say that slash home slash Naga slash MRS plus OPT. Now I want to see what how many files and directories available in OPT. Simply I'll say LS. Okay. So can we talk about the other things here? Now OPT is a you know is a path that's all okay as I told you right come now we are trying to store different log files in different locations just like you know Almera at your home right in Almera at the top you will keep your kids items next uh, first kid second kid third you know my items like that you know in the same way we will differentiate between the different application logs we will the architect and the programmers will write the application in such a way that the logs are stored in different locations and we will have the privilege to go and pull the logs okay so OPT is one location where you know um, different logs are stored so here logs is once again a directory okay to a class class 1 class 2 is a file okay I'll say ls minus cl okay see it is showing see dot 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 are system files logs is a directory this is a file three are files okay so how to see the files cat means concatenate QA class you will see the see there is no such file I have not taken correctly cat QA class see there is one line in the file QA class Similarly, cat QA class 1. So, these are the text in the QA class 1. Now, I will say cat QA class 2. See? This what is, is category in Naga here? Concatenation. Cat means concatenation. I'll, okay. I'll write here. I'll, I'll write here. Cat means concatenation. I'll send the notes. Okay. Let me finish this one and I will send the notes so that we can read it. Okay. Cat means concatenation. Okay. You can see the contents in a file. 
and also you can say you can see the contents in a different way that is by using the uh, unix editor okay unix editor that is called vi okay that is called vi okay how to do V editor? I will let you know. I am going down here. Okay. Unix. So, we know that ls means list. Okay. ls means list. ls minus ls space minus l. Okay. List with details. Okay. Let's do the details. Let's do the details directly in files. Yeah, details. What will be displayed? Directories and file. Files. Okay. All right. PWD means so present, present working details. Present working directory. Uh, Naga, the second one is IS or LS? LS, LS. So, the second one is also LS and uh, doesn't yeah. matter whether you write it in caps lock or you write it in small, right? No, it's always uh, small, right? Small. Always small, always small. Okay. Let me see capital, okay? Let us do right now, okay? LS minus here, let us do. Backs up. Uh -huh. So, see, Unix, you know, we always use small letter, ls minus l. See? No, no, uh, when, uh, in uh, that, uh, uh, using a sudo command, we can install the command whichever we want. Yeah, we can, we can use that, but you know, sudo command we can do, right? Okay. But why to go there at this point? Okay. Yes or no? We will just follow uh, the rules first of all and then we will talk about pseudo commands later on. What do you say, right? So, for now, we will use only small letters in UNIX, okay? Capitals we will see later on, okay? So, what we learned as of now is that uh, what are the simple commands we use? LS means, okay, yes. small letter, LS, okay? It's also ls minus al, ls space minus al, okay, that's important, okay, pwd, present working directory. So, cd means change directory, okay, cd means change directory, okay, mkdar, mkdar. L means you know we are asking to give more information that's all, okay. So, it's redefined, it will give more information. Make a directory, make a directory, okay, make directory, okay. So, to see the files, what we are using? We are using cat. Cat means concatenation. Cat means concatenation. We are asking to display the files. That's all. Display. Display the contents of the file. Display the concatenation. Maybe spelling. I'm not sure. Contents of the file. Okay. You can also see the file with the help of Unix editor that is called VI. Okay. U A C L A S S class. See. It is there. I've opened this one. How to close this one? Escape. Shift. Semicolon. Q. 
okay we'll, we'll discuss it in later class okay so now suppose i want to create a, a directory i want to create a uh, naga what is via here v is a editor just like you know in microsoft what is an editor in microsoft word right you want uh -huh. to write you want to write a file what are you going to do in windows suppose you want you want to write a file you'll go and open the window office word right and there you will write similarly you can also do in pdf suppose you want to write something in notepad you can use notepad you can do excel similarly in unix okay um va is an editor to write the text or okay. to write the command as i told you right okay see we want to write a program to run a, a job what they do they write the that is called shell scripting that is called shell scripting they will use vi open the file and write all the commands on the one okay whenever they run the job they will execute this file the moment they execute this file what are the commands you written one by one it will go and do the necessary operation based on the command what are the written okay we'll we'll study about it later on okay first of all we will try to understand how to create a file okay how to make a directory how to go directory how to see the files etc we'll do that manipulation okay so now i want to see how many files and directories available in opt then i'll say ls okay now i want to go to logs directory how to go there cd log right so let me ask one question are we going to create any directories at the client place no the reason they are all created by in a session your job is to go to the right location and verify the file okay Okay. We are, why you have to go to the right location? As I told you, LXT billing will be under DTE, right? Yes. See. Now I want to go back to my home. I'll say CD. Went to my home. Okay. To go back to home. from any point in the directory you'll say simply cd you'll be back to home okay let me see ls you have dte mrs there is one more project called pseg okay dte related log files will be in dte that is lxt billing medical records files will be stored in mrs directory pscg electricity bill in company new jersey electricity bill company new jersey well up to the all those files will be stored in pscg okay like that you know the unix admin will create the directory so whenever you are working in mrs project you will go and verify the mrs to check the logs so you are working on lcd billing system you will go to dt and verify the logs you are working in psg application you will go to psg and verify the logs okay so now let us go to psg and see what are available how to go to psg cd psg okay psg right 
Now, I want to see what are the list of list of files and directories available in CSVG. What is the command I have to use? LS right? Minus AL. Yeah, LS minus AL to see all the details. So what it is showing here, it is saying there are two system files and there is one directory that is called mread. Okay. Let me go to mread. How to go to mread? How to go to mread? See, let me ask one question, please. If anybody has any problem, please ask me. Okay. The reason. The reason this is, you know, the main concept. Okay, if you understand the concept, there's nothing. If you understand the basic right, you can do any big file of any magnitude. Same funda you will be you're gonna use. But you should understand the concept. Of course, I'm gonna repeat this once again so that you know you will have the strong basic. Let me tell you once again, if you know the basics means you will never forget the subject. Trust me never ever that's all but you have to you know um, understand correctly that is important okay don't hesitate ask me okay naga i just have one question go ahead uh, i find that uh, the dollar symbol is there in many places what is the reason for that the default uh, Sudha. Okay. See, all the operating systems were written in C. Sanskrit is, you know, the mother of languages in mostly in India, right? Okay. Similarly, for all these operating systems, the mother is C. C is such a powerful language. One term will have a lot of meaning in that. It will do so many interactions, so many actions. So, dollar means they have written the code in such a way that you will see dollar here. So, it's called dollar prompt. It's a command prompt. Command yes. prompt, right? Yeah, command prompt, yes. That is a command prompt. So, what is command prompt mean? After the dollar, you are writing the command, right? See. Okay. What is ls is a command okay okay you are writing the command at the prompt you are writing the command at the prompt okay okay ls minus l it is a command okay at the prompt you are writing the command okay 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 thank you nata welcome no problem okay so in PSCG, we have one directory, mread. I want to clear the screen. Same story, clear screen. Let us see how it works. Working. See, one more, one more thing here, you know, in the Unix is, suppose you execute a command. You have written a command. If it is working, it's fine. Okay? It will display. If it is not working, then it will give the error. Sometimes it will be silent. Okay, let us see. I will show you. Ad ls. I got everything right. Now I want to create one new directory. Let us say Bank of America. Okay, I want to create one new directory, Bank of America. Mk directory. Mk dir space BOA Bank of America. If I enter this one, it will be very common quite. It won't show anything. See? It created. When it created, it will be calm. Okay? It finished the task. It will come to command prompt. Now, if you say ls, you will see BOA in the list. See, at the beginning, right? It started out based on the character. BOA at the beginning. Amna had a question. What does PSG, PSG means? 
See, I'm now we have created one project just a name that's all, okay. PSG is a project. We want to keep the log under PSG only. Now I created one project BOA. The reason I want to keep the logs in BOA. So tomorrow when you go to the client place, if you are working in four projects, one, one project is BOA, another project is BTE, another project is MRS, another project is PSCG. If you are working in PSCG, you have to go to PSCG and verify the logs. Okay. So you are working in BOA, you have to go to BA and verify the logs. Oh, that is the meaning. Okay. So now I want to go to BOA. How to go to BOA? CD BOA. See? Before dollar prompt, it is showing that you are at BOA. Naga, when we make a make directory, you know where the uh, that uh, directory will come under? Come on, come on, Sanjay. Ask the question once again. When we make a directory, right? After that, ah. make after after making that directory, where the where that directory will come under? The directory is created at home, right? Ah. I'm I'm at home. So in the home only, it has created the directory. See, okay. BOA is not there previous, but now you can see BOA at right? Bank of America. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So now, I went into BOA. Okay? CDBOA means I'm in BOA. Yes or no? LS. You will not, there's no files, right? LS minus yeah. You will get two files, right? Dot and dot, dot system file. Now okay. I will create one file and one directory here under BOA. Okay, under BOA. So let me give an example like this, okay. Suppose in an apartment complex, okay, an apartment complex, it's a huge apartment complex. How they will how they will decide the numbers uh, building 1, apartment 101, okay. So there are 10 buildings, building 1, in that building 1, complex, 101 means first floor, first house, 201, second floor, first house, 210, second floor, 10th house, 311, third floor, 11th house. Like that we defined it, similarly here also, we created Bank of America directory and in that we are, try, we are trying to create some more, you know, files and directories. So I want to create checking account here. How to do? I want to create checking account here. MK, DER, I will say checking. Okay? Checking. LS. Checking. Okay. Checking is under which directory? BOA. Bank of America. I'll say LS minus EL. What you're saying? Checking. Okay. Now I want to go to checking directory. How to go there? CD, CD yeah. space, CD space CD. checking. CD. Yeah, CD space checking, that's all. See, it is showing, right? It is showing at the dollar prompt that you are at DO and checking. Can you tell me what files may be in this one? System files. What are they? Dot and dot. Dot, dot and dot. That's all, okay? Dot and dot, dot. The reason we are not said anything, right? Therefore, dot and dot, dot. Uh, so now what? Ah, go ahead, Trinam. Now here, uh, when you give this command, ls with uh, minus al, it hmm. says sometimes total a, total 12. What is this? See, these are the files in the directory. See what is happening here. 
it is showing only two directories here and there may be some files hidden files are there it's not showing this that's all Oh, I am sorry, but some of files. Ah, uh, there may be hidden files, right? There may be hidden files. We are not worried about it, but it's showing as eight. Yeah. Oh, oh. Naga, what is dot dot dot? I'm sorry, but uh... system file. They are system files. Okay. They are system, you know, inbuilt files. That's all. So when when it shows this dot or dot dot, so th those are linked. So if you click on those links, the files open, or is just their instruction? No, what no, is it? No, 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 no. We will see. We are interested in our own files. That's all. We are not interested in system files. Okay. System files is not our cup of tea, right? See, okay. your job is very simple. You have to go to the correct location, and you have to open the file. Okay. Let me tell you. We are not going to create any directories at the client side. But we are learning. We should know at least how they will do it. But so that's why I was confused when you created the BOS. I was like, are we supposed to be creating that? <laughs> no, no, no. We are not going to create. But okay. what I want is not to practice. That's all. See, okay. when you go to the client place, you may not have the privilege to create. Right. You got what I'm saying? Right. Only one thing. Only one thing. What you are going to do is, you have to go to the right directory in that right location and see the file. Okay. The reason I'm giving more examples is I want you to have more understanding. That's all. See the reason without this, you know, you cannot build up the basic, you know, structure, basic knowledge. Okay. Yeah. That's the reason I'm repeating again and again. That way you will have more clarity. Let me repeat once again. In Unix, our main job is to go to the right location and see the log file. Why are you seeing the log file? Whenever you have an error occurred, when there is a defect occurred while you are executing a test case, okay. When you are writing, when you are executing a test case, when there is a, you know, you are not got the, you got a actual, you got a result which is not in sync with the, you know, expected result. Then the test case has failed. When the test case fail, you are going to write a defect. When you are reporting a defect, your job is to go to Unix and check the logs. Why are we going to checking the logs? The logs, you will have the information why the defect has arisen and where the defect has arisen. The example I told you right. Whenever you are giving a social security number, the social security number should have nine digits. If you don't give nine digits, the system will fail. system will tell no these are eight digits why it is showing eight digits the program has written the code in the code but where you will see that you have to come to unix log there are 16 digits for this core card you have given 15 digits only you forgotten one number okay somehow you forgot a number then error will pop up saying that we need 16 numbers okay so where you will see them in detail you will come to unix logs the system will write here the system will write here saying that the um, we try to enter 15 digits instead of 16 it will write here that way you know where the test case has failed where it has failed how it has failed so that the developer can fix it otherwise you can fix it the example let me give one more example suppose all of you please understand these things very carefully the reason i'm giving all the practical examples for the interview okay see there is a condition in registration okay Suppose you are registering, you are registering to Detroit Edison. Okay, Detroit Edison. The moment you log on to the DT Energy, it will ask you two things. One is your name as well as your email address. Once the registration is over, based on your email, you will get an email. 
Okay. All right. Suppose let us take the scenario in SIT. In SIT, the application will have different interfaces. What is interface? Interface means when you are talking to some third party. Let me give an example. These IT companies, recruiting companies, they will say we are e-verified. Can anybody tell me what is e-verified? Go to Google and they just search, that's all. That's what I'm saying. Just go to Google and search e-verified. What is e-verified? It's an internet e kind of internet verification. Of what? Of that site. No, eligibility verification. Eligibility verification. See? Eligibility, okay. Eligibility. Suppose a student from a college will say, I'm an OPT. What is OPT? Whenever a foreign student comes to this country, the moment he finishes his course, it depends on their qualification. If it is MS, they may have, I think, two years. I'm not sure. MBA, they may have one year as OPT. OPT means optional training. Before going to job, the government wants to go through training. Excuse me, o OPT. OPT. Yeah, what is that exactly? Optional training. Optional training, okay, thanks. Optional training. That is the status of the student. Any student from any country who is not, you know, a citizen green card of US, who came from other countries, their status is F1. Okay, the status is F1. At the moment they finish their course, they will give a new status called OPT or CPT. Okay? When you submit your information to a company, okay, what it will do? The moment they enter your the student credentials, it will go to e verify system of US, you know, ICS. United States, you know, that immigration verification department, right? The application will interface with USCS and it will verify whether the student has given the correct information or not. He mentioned he is an OPT. Is it correct or not? It will verify and come back. That is called interface. Okay? Okay, one more thing I am telling. You are, you, are, you know, you, you, are, you fly from your native place to say New York. In the airport, you will be given your either green card or EAD or citizenship, etc. How they verify, how they validate, they will scan it. When they scan it, the information will be given to some other application through interface and it will validate and come back. Okay, that is called interface. So, different systems will talk to each other to transfer the information. Okay? So, so what I am talking about is OPT, E-Verify. System will go and verify and come back and they will give the result. Okay? So, the main advantage is to verify the law. But you should know where the correct location, that's all that is important. Okay, let me give one more example. You are working on PSCG, okay? Okay, but if you go and verify BOA, can you see the locks in this? No, right? No. The, re the reason, PSCG locks will be displayed in PSCG only. If you want to verify MRS locks, you have to go to MRS only. If you want to go to verify the BOA logs, you have to go to BOA logs. Okay? At the client place, you will be doing only two things. One is you have to go to the correct location based on the project what you are doing and you have to open the logs. How to open the logs? We will see. We are going to use a command called grep. 
So we are going to use a command called tail. Okay. So there are various commands we will use. So this is the main operation you will do at the client plane. Okay. All right. So now let us come back to BOA. Okay. If I say LS means LS minus EL, I have two system files here. Okay. I want to come back to BOA. What is the command I have to use? I have to come down one level. I have to come down one level. CD space dot dot. To come down one level, I will use cd space dot dot. cd space dot dot. Okay. Now I want to go back to checking. I'll say ls here. Checking right. So in B Bank of America, there is one directory that is checking. I want to enter into checking. How to enter into checking? CD checking. CD, CD space checking. checking. Right. CD checking. Now I want to come back to my Naga. You know, home. How to do that? CD backward slash. So Shabina has a question, what is level? Can we call, ask me Shabina once again, what question? Shabina, you are asking question, right? What is that? Yeah, I wanted to know what is level on that word you were typing, right? That word, it said level. So I wanted to know what is level. Okay. Oh, on the Microsoft yeah, right. Word, yeah. See, when you type, you read to come down on level. So what does level mean? I mean to come down on the last page or the last this? Sabina, you have a lot of directories, right? Uh, in that, a uh, lot of sub-directories also you can create. But you can uh, come down one level of uh, each directory. Like, uh, uh, yes. now Naga created one uh, uh, BOA, right? Main directory. In that, he already created one checking directory. So you can come back to BOA uh, main directory. Okay, so, so what I'm, what I'm, uh, what I'm telling you. Yeah, that is the level. Yeah, so BOA, BOA is, you know, main directory, sub-directory, okay. So, um, I want to come down one level down, that means coming out of checking, so that is BOA. O means Naga, I have to come to here, that's all. So, first is Naga and then step is BOA and then checking. Okay, so if I say CD means I'll come to the root. Margaret yes, Ubuntu. If I say CD dot dot yeah. means I'm coming to BOA. I'll show one more example. Okay, you will you will understand that. What I what I'm going to do? I'll go to MRS. Okay, CD MRS. Okay, CD MRS. Let me see what are the. I'll go to OPT. Okay, is it? Once again, OPT is a, we know very well that it is a directory. Let me see once again. There is one more directory that is logs. CD logs. LSCS. See, there are calls, MMS, SMS. Let me go to S, calls. CD calls. C A L L S. LS, LS minus L. See, how many levels here? First is MRS, OPT, and then logs, and then calls. See, what is the directory here? Main directory, of course, Naga is the main directory. That is the home. Under that MRS, under that OPT, under that logs, under that calls. Calls. Oh. Okay, so in the call, you have so many files here, correct or not? 
let us see ls minus cl ls minus cl okay see why i'm saying these are files since i'm saying only there is no d right they are all dash they are all dashes okay mm -hmm. so now i want to see abcd dot log how to see that cat okay see you remember like this okay catch you use only three characters cat okay catch a b c d dot log see like this. i want to see new uh, new call dot log how to see new call dot log cat new call dot log right okay So let me show you one, you know, this file. See this one. Just observe this one, okay? Just I want to I want to show how the logs will flow at the client place. See, it will first continuously if it is a production system, right? the logs you know it just goes to the top continuously okay so in that situation how can we you know catch a specific character or a specific number from a file okay so where where are we now how to know where are we pwd and also see the root here okay mrs opt all right so now see this is first floor this is ground floor first floor second floor third floor fifth floor this is level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 level 5 now i am asking questions to all of you i want to come to log how to come i want to come back to log cd log yeah cd dot dot okay is it clear now i came one level down now i want to go back to call 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 i want to go back to call how to go there i want to go back cd calls cd call cd cat call okay yeah the cat calls okay let us do one by one okay somebody said cat call we'll see that okay one more question to all of you cat i said call sir see the reason i'm asking you reason of please you all of you think about it okay see as a very important you have to think 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 there only will be there otherwise it's not possible now what happened naga calls is a directory it's not a file okay number 1 number 2 what are the possible things See, this, see if you can do this right you are good i'm telling you know everything calls is a directory it's not a file that is okay but still what i'm asking is still any any other message can you expect <coughs> anything else you can expect okay one more minute it will tell okay all right let us see logs of okay? ls minus cl okay 
Good. There is calls here. Okay. I say cat calls. There is no file called call. See? Is it's it directory? directory. It is telling clearly, right? Mm -hmm. Is it directory? So calls is not a file, it's a directory. The reason it's in blue color. Right? Mm -hmm. Now I want to go back to calls. C D C D calls. Now, I want to come back to root, Naga. How to come? CD. CD. Yeah, CD, that's all. Uh, Naga, I have a question. Uh, yeah. When we, we can also use the CD backslash, right? For the home directory? Yeah, we'll, we'll, do, that. we'll do that. We'll do that, okay? We'll do that. MRS, I'm going directly, okay? OPT. See, I am trying various options, okay, that way. See, these things, you know, if you see, you feel it okay, but if you start working right, a lot of confusion. So, it please install, click on help and, you know, right, work right away. Okay, CD, MRS, log. MRS OPT log call. I went there directly. Write down. To come to root means naga, okay? What you have to use? CD, that's all. Okay, to go to, to go to a specific location directly. How, how are we going to do that? CD, how we have done? This one, right? like this. Directory path. Yeah. So, the only thing I have not, I have not used slash here. You have observe carefully, okay? I have not used slash at the beginning MRS. My directory. Okay? So, now, I want to come back to home. How to come? Naga. I want to come back to Naga. CD. 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 Right? CD that's all. I am coming to the root of Naga. Mm -hmm. Now I want to go to up to locks directly. How to go there? Up CD. to go to locks directly, not step by step. CD is um, MRS slash OPT slash mm. locks. Yeah. Okay. You can do in two ways. What is the first way? You can do one by one. CD, MRS. <coughs> okay. CD, OPT. CD, log. CD, log. This is one way. One way. What is second way? I have to, I have to come back, right? I have to come back. CD. CD, MRS, OPT. OPT slash log. Log. Yes. That's it. Now, I want to come back to OPT. CD dot dot. Yeah. Okay. CD dot dot. Mm, uh, okay. Not a, huh. Not a here. Is there any option to go back directly uh, to the ground level like if we are at uh, MRS slash OPT slash log slash calls. Hmm. So is there any option to directly come back to the MRS 
in directory. Like cd dot dot is to come down one level. Right. So is there okay. any option? You want to come to two levels, huh? Yeah, two or three levels uh, directly or in one time. I, I think we can much. we can do that cd dot dot slash dot dot. Yeah, we'll try that. Yeah, we'll do one thing. Um, we'll go to the up to the end level, right? We'll go to end level. So cd okay. slash log slash calls, right? So any question on this one? What I've done right now? See from CD two space levels, dot dot. Hmm, what I've done? Slash dot dot. Yeah, yeah. What I've done from OPT to call seven directly. What I said CD C. When you're you're we are taking two levels. The first one don't give slash. Take it as a log and slash call. I went there directly. Now let us try to let us try to come to MRS instead of home. C D says see I'm giving a shot. I'm not sure about this okay. I'm giving I'm trying. Let us see what happens. No such directory. CDMRS. CDMRS. Um, we'll we'll no. we'll we'll try we'll try we'll try. But you know what happens, right? From here it it tries to go to MRS. From calls it tries to go to MRS. Mm -hmm. Right? Change directory means from here we are trying to change. From going down to two or three levels, I'm not uh, not sure about it. Uh, Naga, we can do uh, dot dot slash dot dot slash three yeah, times. Dot dot right? Dot dot slash. slash dot dot slash right and yeah dash. dot dot we can oh, try okay okay we'll see got it excellent oh uh, yeah mm -hmm. we got it so note on this one okay to come to two levels three levels good to or three levels see this is the highest you know you can think of in <laughs> Unix. See why I am telling you know manual testing right. You guys first enter into the job. Become master. Yeah become master. And then take the lead. If you want to get into automation get into automation or become a lead then become manager you know director. There is no end to that I am telling you. Okay, but if you ask me why you are teaching, this is my passion. Yeah, this is this is what see many see many people ask me, see you have so much of experience, why you are not a director of a company? I said you know, I want to create a company where hundred directors want to they want to report to me. So nothing wrong, right? Yes or no? That's true. It's yeah, you should, you should, you should dream it, right? You're doing what you but, want to do. Yeah, you want to do, but you need to have some base. That is important, right? <laughs> <laughs> to run the show, yeah, to run right. your family, you need to have a base. We should not <laughs> get out of that one, <laughs> right? You need to have the skill. See, after marriage, you have responsibilities either male, female. Everybody has a responsibility, right? That's what I'm saying. Okay, good. So take it as an opportunity, all of you. That's what I'm telling again and again. Take it an opportunity, explore your. See, if you want to teach a class, please take the class. I don't stop anybody. See, so tomorrow you're joining the client. Suppose if the client wants to give a demo, I want all of you to be in the same spot, same position. Yes. Be ready for uh, that. Naga, I got a question. Go ahead. Good. Yeah, but it's not related with this. You know, I got a Mac at home, and uh, if I want to install the Unix, can it go on that, or should I get another 
let's say Windows laptop or desktop? Mac, we had a problem, but I want to click on the address this one. He is the, he is the master in hardware. Srikanth, can you please address right away? Uh, Windows is better, Naga. Mac uh, is not compatible. You talk to talk to Namak directly, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm immediately right? talk to. So you suggest Namak. me to get a desktop or laptop Windows? Yes, anyone is fine. Desktop or laptop. Mm -hmm. so Namak, ah. Namak, you know, let me add what Srikanth said. Okay, number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, let me let me add what Srikan there. Okay, see, if you have a laptop with mm -hmm. uh, Windows, mm -hmm. suppose you went to your native country, okay? Mm -hmm. So tomorrow you went to uh, your place and due to some you know some some personal work, you can attend the class mm -hmm. and you can practice from Albania, no problem. Yeah. But if you have a desktop, you cannot carry. Of course, yeah, I know that. <laughs> right. So therefore, you know, see. Uh, no, but I, you know, I, I want to know which is which is better. Let's say desktop or laptop, or it, it doesn't matter. Which is let's say which has more capacity. Oh, then more capacity stick on the address that one. I, I am not very clear about that capacity stick on the address. If you have uh, 8 GB RAM, i5 or i7 processor. Mm -hmm. 500 GB RAM, that is enough. 500, 500 okay. GB hard disk. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Hmm? Yeah. So, Sorry. see, the reason Namak, why I'm the thing, you know, see, if you want to practice wherever you are, you're at a beach, you want to practice laptop. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I want optimum system, you know, mm -hmm. where I can sit tight at my home. Yes. Then go with desktop. And of course, Srikanth has given the configuration, right? So no, that's why. I think I'm I'm gonna go with a laptop because you know I yeah. might go to my country during the summer and you know I need to practice exactly. there. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I got yes. Yeah, I got that. Thank you so much. Welcome, no problem. So good. All right, so just one more concept I will you know I'll stop and we'll go to okay. To come to three levels, what we are going to do? C D space. Dot dot slash. Yeah, C D space cd space dot 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 okay it, see there is no end to how much you practice okay i'm giving you the base based on the base just go to google you know just come to google and you know see everything in google see what you should know is how to use it you got what i'm saying right see google come google and what is it? Unix fundamental. Fundamental. Okay. Everything there, everything is there. Only thing you have to sit tight, that's all. Unix fundamentals. Okay. There is a tutorial. Just learn it. Watch the course introduction. Somebody has written. And I'm presenting for you. Okay. Okay, like this, you know, you explore yourself. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Everything is there, but only thing, you know, my job is to make sure that you understand the concepts as much as possible. If you know the concepts, you just move forward. Okay. So today, enough for you guys, and uh, tomorrow. Uh, that means um, uh, uh, I'll let you know. Okay, I'll let you know. Um, I'm going to talk about the advanced commands like grep, tail, and how to create a file with the help of you know uh, VA editor. See, VA is a huge, it's, it's a big one. Okay. See, one more thing I'm telling you. You may ask me why whenever we are not when whenever Whenever we are not going to use VA at the client place, what is the need for us to learn VA? You will be a star in the and I want you I want you to be a star in the team. Ahead of everybody in technology. If you know VI, people will appreciate that. The reason testers no need to go to VI. Okay, but if you know additional knowledge, it will be helpful for you to tackle the 
tough problems at the client place. The more tough problems you, you handle, you will become more and more, you know, efficient. Okay, all right. Let us, you know, take the uh, question. First question. Explain about Unix. Why Unix is preferable for running the bad jobs? See, if you Google this question right, you will get so many things, okay? Just go through that and you know, answer the question. Nava, what is the second question? Why Unix is used for running the bad jobs? Bad jobs or batch jobs? Batch, B A T C H. Okay. B A T C H, batch job. Okay. Create the following. path in your Unix and send me this screenshot. Slash DOA slash OPT slash log slash checking. Is it logs or log? L O G. L O G. And after that? Checking. 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 C H E C K I N G. Checking. Always remember any time in Unix it is only L O G S. Okay? Always remember any time in Unix it is only L O G S. So, uh, you just said create the following path in your Unix, which is slash BOA slash OPT slash log slash checking, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Can anybody tell me how to do this? So, first you will create BOA. Okay. First go to Ubuntu, create BOA. And then enter into BOA, CD BOA. How to create BOA? MKDAR BOA. And then CD BOA. And then once again CD, uh, make directory OPT. I'm sorry, how do, how do you create BOA? Okay. Make directory. I'll, I'll, I'll show, okay? I'll show. MKDAR. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show. Just I'll show two steps from third, fourth you do, okay? I'm at the, I'm at the root, right? I'm already at BOA. So I'll go to CD BOA. Okay, LS. I don't have. I already checked. What what I said? OPT, right? MKDR OPT. Okay. LS. PWT. Now what are going to create now? Log. MKDR log. You have to go to logs. CD logs. Right? No, I think uh, BOA OPT logs, right? Yeah, let me do one thing. BOA OPT, right? Uh, BOA OPT logs, yeah, check it. Yeah, CD OPT, right? Now let us see. I want to LS minus CL. Here I have to create logs, right? MKT here yeah. logs. You have to go to log. You have to take a step. Go to the next step. CD log. You are taking the steps, right? First floor, second floor, third floor. Now you have to construct a fourth floor. Constructing fourth floor, MK directory. What is that name? Fourth floor name? Checking, right? You want to enter into fourth floor 
3D fourth floor. Check in. So you got it right? Naga, I'm a little nervous to be very honest no, no. and frank with you, but I guess I'll have to practice because this is <laughs> scary. <laughs> no, no, Sabina. No, no. Trust me. Spend some time, okay? Spend some time. You will get it. And one more thing I am telling you. See, this is what the beauty of, you know, team effort, okay? I know there may be some guys having some experience. See, please share your knowledge with your friends, okay? Let me tell you one more thing. Uh, just let me... Uh, See, right now I am an SAP HR consultant, okay? I am a SAP human resources consultant with OM and PA. But if you ask me why are you teaching testing means, I, I worked as a test also and uh, I love to teach to the, um, you know, whomever interested. Basically, I am a teacher basically. I am also teaching SAP HR. By the way, I started a class as huh? SAP HR OM and PA. Why I am teaching it, you know, to improve my skills. The reason, if I have to teach for one hour, I have to prepare a minimum two hours. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am sitting two hours, studying and then I am teaching. The reason, this is like a percolation of water, okay. If the rain falls, right, drop by drop water will go down. Same thing for study also. Okay, you have to sit and you have to Okay, so do one thing, Sabina. Hmm. Try yourself. Okay, if not, you know, talk to Srika or anybody is ready to uh, help Sabina if she has any doubts. You know, uh, take a session in the evening and discuss. Yeah, Mother, I can. Who? who ah, see, Malika is there. See, Malika, take a session and you know, uh, you know, um, or let's do one thing. Uh, Tuesday, uh -huh. you guys practice. Okay. Tuesday you guys practice. So the reason, see when you come to the class, next class, I want you guys to be very perfect in this one. That way, whatever I am going to teach, you will catch very fast. Right. But one thing, you know, my very sincere request all of you, please practice. Otherwise, there is no point. Right? That's what I am saying. Malika, what I am going to do is I am going to try to log in tomorrow and uh, maybe if I get stuck, then I will just call you up and maybe huh. you can guide me what I am okay. supposed to do next. Yeah, okay, let's, no do other, let's do one thing, Sabina. Let's do one thing, Sabina. This coming Tuesday yeah. class, right? You guys practice. Yeah. I'll give some more work. You practice. Naga, at least we can create like uh, uh, this link. You uh, yeah. Whenever we, we are free, we can log into that, right? Yes, so, yeah, we, no problem. We people can discuss each other at least. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling. It's an open, open system. You know, you... So, Naga, Tuesday, no class, you mean to say we're going to be practicing? I'm, I'm a little confused. Or besides the classes, you want us to a lot of time yes, to practice? Yes, you want, I want you to practice. The reason, you, I want you to be very strong in the funda. Okay? You have to be very strong in this funda. That way, I can go to the next level. The reason, without you know how to manipulate between the, you know... Yeah, directly. that's what even I believe. If I've not understood the basic yes. right, then I cannot understand anything you're going to go, teach going forward. Uh, exactly. But my, again, my concern is so. So now, next, when 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 can I practice? Like Tuesday, Tuesday between nine to ten, or before that? What is that's the question? So yes. Sabina, we can do on Mondays. Actually, we can go through the uh, Tuesdays with the Naga. That is best okay, way. So I Monday, think so. Yeah. So Monday uh -huh. when? When can we do it? Uh, as a wish, we, we uh, talk to each other. Then we can. Uh, yeah, you guys, you know. You know, you can talk, you know, uh, you, now you have all the numbers, emails, right? You correspond to your right. friend, you know, we'll go from there, okay? No problem. All right? Okay. Good. So, I, I want you guys to be very conversant with what you're doing, okay? So, appreciate it, so, guys. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Take one more, second question. Next question, yeah. Naga, what about tomorrow? Tomorrow we have class? I, I'll let you know, okay? I'll let you. Tomorrow, you know, I want you guys to practice. At least tomorrow. Okay, all right. Tomorrow you practice, okay? And Just create a, this web link, Naga, for uh, who are free, we will come down for to Excellent. discuss for. De definitely, definitely, okay? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Next. Explain.
explain about error handling systems. Explain about error handling system. Explain about error handling system. create another path insurance slash opt slash log slash vehicle could you please repeat it yes insurance slash opt slash log slash vehicle okay in that um, first question from insurance directory go directly to vehicle directory Nada can you please uh, uh, repeat the previous question yeah what i want you know first of all you have to create yeah. one structure uh -huh. that is i want you to create first of all insurance and then create opt then create logs and then create vehicle okay 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 fine then Thank come you. to then come to mrs directly go to car directly go to vehicle yeah got right. it got next next question from vehicle come to opt back directly okay so all of you please do exercise okay and uh, so the only slogan we know very well don't lose minimum 30 dollars per hour job that's all i can tell you <laughs> all right so we'll, you know catch up okay all of you please make sure that you install a uh, unix on your system with the help of stream okay stream uh, thank you Naga, before you leave, just quickly wanted to tell you, um, it's possible to avoid a class tomorrow. Reason is because we need some time to practice. Because if you take a class tomorrow, then if we have not finished, no, no, no class then, tomorrow, no class tomorrow, yeah. no class tomorrow. Yeah, just give us some time to practice, and then you know. Yeah, yeah, no class tomorrow. You, you see, understand? You practice, okay? You practice as much as you can. And right. that's what I'm telling. You know, take the charge. You practice. Ask me the questions. I'm here to help you, anybody, no matter what. Okay. okay? Thank I'm you. I'm here to help you. Welcome. Thank you. Malika, I'll be in. Malika, I'll be in touch with you over the phone. Uh, all right. No problem. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.